right? And some companies, their controlling function is very good. They control the cost, they control their labor cost, and all like the, you know, the Bangladesh and India and China. Over there, the worker salary is quite small. So big companies are shifting their production facilities in those companies, in those countries, right? Okay, now time focus. The focus of the time of financial accounting is past. Financial statement for the year ended 2021. So your profit and loss statement is coming after one year. You started from January to December. What happened during the year and this was your profit. So it means time has gone. You are standing right now on December and you see your company performance. But managerial accounting is future perspective. What will happen if you sell this product? How much profit will be? If you increase the cost, how much profit would be? Right? So you plan the future. Should we introduce this product? Should we change the variety? Should we introduce a new model? Should we discontinue this product? It is giving us a loss. Sometimes if you discontinue a product, your loss will be huge. For example, if, if my company is making the uh, laptop plus this mouse and this mouse is giving me a loss, if I discontinue this, uh, discontinue this mouse operations, then my loss escalated. Sometimes this happens. We will see in our coming lectures how this is possible. Third one is verifiability versus relevance. So if we focus on verifiability, we may miss the opportunity. Sometimes information must be relevant, right? So if you want to verify, it means verify takes time. Verifiability is based on historical perspective. You don't have, you have the receipts. Okay, give me the receipts and you are telling with the receipts, okay, these costs and all those stuff. But managerial accounting, they emphasis on relevance for planning and controlling. Right? If this information is, is, is uh, related to this one, okay, include that in this project. If this cost is not relevant, exclude that from this one. Precision versus timeliness. If you go for precision, you would lose the time to invest in the market or time to act in the market, right? If you want to be on, be if you want to be precise, it means you would be wasting a lot of time on the past. And then what happened? You will lose the opportunity. What is it? Uh, timeliness that you use the information on timeliness. Okay, this today we need this report. Give me that one, whatever. I don't need any science, any signature or something. Just give me that. I, I would be basing my decision on this report today. And if you based on precision, okay, give me that report and that report first signed by CEO and then senior vice president and then the marketing president. And then this information is coming to you after sign, after coming to you after like four days or a week and that opportunity gone. Understand? So are we clear about timeliness and precision? Subhan, Junpyo, Ali, Koko, Anis? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Good. The fifth one is subject. In financial accounting, the primary focus is on the whole organization. In accounting, in, in, in balance sheet, in profit and loss, we don't see, for example, the gap in corporation. They are selling clothes. They have children clothes. They have adult clothes. They have female clothes. They have male clothes. So we don't see them in, the, in, in their profit and loss, how much the men clothing is giving you profit, how much is the women clothing giving you profit, how much is the children clothing right? Or how much is the gene section? 
giving you the profit. We see the overall company profit, that's it. You add all the stuff and you report full-fledged profit and loss statement, that's it. But here in managerial accounting, you can find out that how much this adult clothing is giving us and how much is this female jeans you know, section is giving us profit. So you can just subdivide the organization. Right? So these are more precise and timely and relevant as well. Whether we, you need to discontinue ladies, ladies uh, worn out jeans or not, whether this is trendy or not, whether you need to discontinue the shoes section of uh, you know, male as well, because shoes is very, uh, it's, it's, it's not giving us a profit, right? But in financial accounting, you, you don't see this kind of, this kind of uh, information. Law, GAAP or FASB. So there are two accounting laws, accounting principles, GAAP and FASB. So in financial accounting, you must follow one of the law, either GAAP or either FASB. So this, this book is basically US centric. In US, GAAP is followed. So that's why the GAAP is written. In some other countries, they also have FASB, sorry, FASB, right? While the managerial accounting do not need any law because information is not going to, pub to be published for outsiders. So we don't need to follow the, the law. You can make the reports based on the law that, okay, first of all, you need to write cash and then liquidity based on liquidity and all the stuff, but it's not necessary. Requirements, the financial accounting information are mandatory and you must be reporting in some specified format for external purposes. Right? Similarly, with the managerial accounting, you can publish reports, but that is not mandatory. If you upload your sales report on your website, it will add to your you know, positive view to the customers, to the investors, okay, their sales report, but this is not required by law. Right? You can show up that, okay, this is our payroll, uh, st statements that how much we employ this, you know, the workers and these are our salaries, but no law is necessary for you to publish these kind of reports. If you publish, that's good that you are more fair and you are transparent company, but no law required that one that you need to publish all these, these kind of reports. So are we clear about the distinction between financial accounting and managerial accounting? So although the name looks the same, accounting, accounting, but these two are totally different. The information is made with different perspective. The information is gathered with different perspective. Their focus is different, right? So whose information is more timely? Managerial accounting whose information is more precise and verified? Accounting information. Right? Who provides you segment-wise data? Managerial accounting. Who provides you whole organizational data? Financial accounting. Right? Understand, Ali, Coco? Yep. Good. So I have a very nice video here to explain further the uh, what's going on in the real life and how the financial information is different from managerial information. So let's watch that. Here we go.
advertisers and service companies have all been adopting different approaches to improve their performance. A number of techniques were developed.